And now let's get in the spirit of things as we take a look at all the creepy stuff on Ventura County. It's October again, and as the leaves begin to fall, decorations are coming up. My family's been doing uh, operating Halloween stores in Southern California uh, since the mid-1980s. So really, I've been involved in a Halloween store in some aspect since I was about five years old. We've been counting down since September. My grandson and I have been so excited. We love Halloween, and we just couldn't wait to start. So come October 1st, we started putting up all of our outside decorations. Uh, it started a little over a year ago. Um, the owner, Jimmy, uh, started it, and then I came in probably like right afterwards, and we both kind of built it up to what it is now. I've always loved Halloween, and just for some reason, scary movies. So many of my memories revolve around the stores, working the stores, being involved in the stores, trick-or-treating afterwards. Halloween for me is not a one day a year thing. It's essentially, uh, Halloween is every day for me. So in, in terms of, of what you see here, these are my favorite memories. All those movies that I grew, grew up with and like loved all the different characters were actually you know, made by somebody. And it really like intrigued me into like diving into that and le learning all the little tricks mask making and mold producing and then it just kind of progressed from there. My mom was great at decorating for all the different holidays and what she couldn't do my dad did for us. So we always had the best house for Halloween, Christmas, you name the holiday, it was great. And I remember how much fun it was as a child to look forward to each holiday. And uh, it's just so much fun. And I think there's still a part of me that's a big kid that loves to do this. But why are we celebrating Halloween? And who are we celebrating it for? When Halloween first got big in America, it was a really a holiday driven for children. It was all about the trick-or-treating. That all changed probably around the year 2000 when the adults started taking over the holiday. It's still a kid's holiday, but it's grown into, you know, the adults found out that they could enjoy it too. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's, you know, that's part of the fun of Halloween. Oh, I think Halloween's for everybody, not just children or not just adults. I think it's an, an inclusive holiday. When I was young, I remember how exciting it was when I trick-or-treated houses that were decorated. And it just, to this day, I have lasting memories of that. So I think it's definitely big kids and little kids. But what separates Halloween from most holidays is its kindred relation to death. Everyone that is born has a, an end date that we're not aware of and everyone's going to die. And I think that Halloween gets us closer to that, that realization, that truth, that life is, is time ended. And you know, uh, the ghouls and, and the skulls and, and some of the you know, reaper of, of God of death uh, all, all this really speaks to that. A lot of people are scared of, of, of it. Deep down, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, if, if you really research a lot of stuff, it's, it's just how you use it. I do believe it, it's a healthy way to look at life. There's no other day like Halloween. So if we can bring awareness to actually, you know, the aspect that there is death associated with life and Halloween brings that to the forefront. I think that's a wonderful thing. It's a part of life. You know, there's the life cycle and there's uh, black and white, good and evil. So I think that, you know, it's something that we include. For me, I, I kind of do scary fun, not scary ghoulish, because I do it with kids in mind so that they won't be afraid when they come up to the house. The thing I most enjoy is the baby coffin because it's a really unique piece. It's from like the early 1920s 
Um, it was in a old mortuary that they found it in, and it was definitely used. It was basically to pick up uh, dead babies in, um, from house to house, and it was designed to look like an old toolbox because when you would go to house to house, you know, you didn't want the neighbors knowing that, you know, your kid passed away. So they designed it that way so when it was a little more discreet for them. While everyone seems to be celebrating for different reasons, they all seem to be filled with the spirit of the season. I get people that come in and they're inspired by all the different things they see. You know, everybody just from normal customers to tourists to you know, people that come in every week just to check it out, just, just love it. And I haven't had a single, like, negative complaint about anything. It's much more fun trick-or-treating at a house that's festive than just, you know, going to the door and asking for candy. It's, it's one day of, uh, of the year, and hopefully it'll be a, a national holiday. I know that there is a petition that's circling, and it's so much different than every other holiday that we as Americans celebrate. So this October 31st, whether you're passing out candy or receiving it, we hope you have a ghoulish good time. Spooky.